All right, what's going on, you fam? Ryudin here. So we got the, what, fifth data download finally in the game. And now we can see the most important thing with this Vegito is stats. This is one thing we're worried about. Uh, looks like they're pretty high. So defenses and offenses uh, align pretty well with what I thought they would be. You know, mid to low 170s with mid to low 250s. Uh, we already know that this guy has, you know, between the feature boosts and all the damage inflictive uh, multipliers and everything that he has, I think he's going to do quite a bit of work. So there you have it. There are the man stats. Now, what we're really looking for is Mr. Green Movie Saga characters. Spirit Bomb Goku. Let's take a look at you, buddy. All right, maxed out. Hey, look at that. Really good offensive stats. Really, uh, not, not the worst defensive stats, but I remember this dude had like 50% reduced damage received. So let's see what we got here. Same strike, same blast. Blue card, major impact damage. I think the 50% uh, to remove enemy attribute upgrades is the new thing. Green card, 30% to damage inflicted, really high. And then uh, this works for tackle, tap shot. Wait, what? Strike, Blast, Fighting Pose, Restore Vanish, Reduce Enemy Key by 50, looking pretty damn good. Ultimate, same old beast, 50% to all damage inflicted. Remember, this is this is a, a, an old sparking dude, 50%. A lot of the modern characters have like 40% all damage inflicted. Here's the dude getting 50. Main ability, he gets the Ultimate Arts card, Restore Own Health by 40% and Key plus 40 pretty good still wish that was better Zenkai ability screen movie so for the boy now let's see 50% blast damage inflicted against androids 40% damage inflicted applies the following effects to self according to the number of timer counts elapsed from battle start 10 timer counts reduce damage received by 20% okay pretty good 20 timer counts 50% buff to the alt damage and 30 timer whoa sorry about that is this is this an actual good Zenkai? After 30 timer counts, this guy gets 90% damage inflicted, but if it's an android, aka always, 140% blast damage? That's really good. That looks really good. Ultimate is going to be getting the 90% damage inflicted from here, the 50% from when you use it, and then the 50% after 20 timer counts passing? 190% right out the gate from one passive? Damn, dude. That ultimate is definitely going to be nuking out people. Second passive, reduce damage received by 50% until combo ends when changing cover, so this guy's gonna tank really hard. 70% reduced damage received when he pops over with the near 190k defenses, he's gonna be a good tank. And then the 35% damage inflicted per defeat of battle member, this guy will be a terrifying, terrifying final stand unit. Now imagine that, 70% damage inflicted, the 50% after 30 timer counts, 40% right out the gate, 50% against Blast, 210% Blast damage against Androids. He's gonna hurt. Third new passive, formal effects occur when changing cover. Seal all enemy main abilities for five timer counts. Seal all enemy blue card and green card. And the sealed arts cannot be used for five timer counts. Damn, that is huge. This guy is not only a really good tank, but a really solid disruptor. Cause a lot of the times when you come in on cover change, your opponent tends to finish off the unit with uh, a main ability or they pop a green card to continue the combo. I'm looking at you androids. So this ceiling mains and greens and blues basically means that this Goku will only be killed probably from a rush at this point. Um, I do remember them saying that he removes Dragon Balls, which I think is from here. Yeah, apply the formal effects to enemy when changing cover. Reduces Dragon Balls by one, activates twice, and reduces 30 key. Holy crap, so this guy is a insane disruptor. I think that, is this Goku a good Zenkai? This guy's an amazing Zenkai. Holy crap, the spell of really just trash Zenkais have been changed. This guy's amazing. Damn. He's actually really damn good. Look at that. This guy's awesome. The uh, the main ability seal, green card seal, blast card seal. Uh, sorry, the uh, green card and blue card seal, main ability seal. 70% reduced damage received. Minus the 30 key means this guy's going to be a massive disruptor. He really is. And his green card also reduces enemy key. So 
If you're trying to stall for time, you pop this green card, get your vanish as well, you, your opponent better pray that you don't PV him. Otherwise, that guy's getting annihilated. I think this guy's a really damn good Senkai. I'm looking forward to seeing how well this bad boy does in play. Now, all the Senkais aside, equipment, boys. Just some shiny new toys. Take a look at this. I don't know why. So we got this one platinum equipment, anniversary raid stuff, nothing uh, fancy schmancy, but look at this. Out of nowhere, Kid Boo gets his platinum equipment. What? Look at this. Base health, both defenses. 25% for defenses, 15% for health. Already really good. Up to 30% for both offenses, but it's this last slot. Jesus Christ. 10% to blast damage inflicted per tag regen or tag powerful opponent battle member. Health restore plus 20%. Health restore aside. What the hell? Damn, dude. Kid Buu is super top tier already. This right here has solidified Kid Buu as being probably one of the best units in the game from this alone. We already know that he's a, he's a slippery, tricky unit to get your hands on. The guy is always getting his vanish back. But this... 30% pure blast damage? Remember that these regeneration characters already have access to another pure regen uh, battle member blast equip that gives up to 7% per battle member. So you can get up to 51% blast damage inflicted pure on this guy. So Kid Boo is going to shred. Look forward to that. And then there's another one for some reason. This one here, I don't... It's Yellow Fusion Warrior. It, this is literally for Super Vegito, so the Ultra just drops with the Platinum Equipment. Health Restore, Base Key Recovery, alright. Blue card, Ultimate Damage, really good. And then both offenses up to 20%. No idea why they decided to drop this, but that's pretty insane. Uh, funny enough, this is yet another Platinum Equipment for Vegeta Blue. The poor dude gets a bunch of Platinum Equipments, except for one that's designed just for him. Um, I don't know, that seems really interesting, but all in all, I think that is pretty much everything that's new. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are thinking. Super Vegito stats look pretty good for uh, 14 Star Ultra. The Kid Boost Platinum Equipment looks really damn good. Gogeta Blue, for, for some reason, gets another Platinum Equipment, but technically doesn't. And we finally got a really damn good Zenkai. I'm really excited to see what that character can do in play. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are feeling. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Uh, the banners will go live in like less than an hour. And we will be live before they are. For us to do some summons together. Uh, it'll be a good time. So be sure to drop by. I'll see you guys there. Peace.